Amen. So, 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 so I've had to do some, do some unpacking. I've had to do some unpacking because, you know, for those of you who have been here as members for any length of time, you know that I've had a hard time preaching about giving. And what I've learned is that I had a hard time preaching about giving because I associated preaching about giving with preaching about money. But giving is not about money. Giving is about relationships. You give to those folk you know, right? You share with those people who you are in relationship with. As a matter of fact, I give to MTSU every single month. comes right out of my check every single month. Why? Because at MTSU, I was blessed to establish some relationships that have lasted all of these years. For 30 years, I am still in relationship with some of those people who I met back in 1984. So I give back to MTSU because of those relationships. I met my, met my wife at MTSU. Amen? I played, I played Q <laughs> at MTSU. I, and, and it's because... <laughs> It's because of those relationships that, that I, 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 I give. And, 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 that's, and, and you give based on, based on your relationships, right? You give. And so um, uh, it, it's not about giving. It's not about giving money, but it is about the relationship. Because of my relationship with God, I give to his work. I, I give to his work because of my relationship with him. So it's not about the money. It is rather about the relationship. And out of the relationship comes giving. It comes sharing. But it doesn't, but, but what's in your hand doesn't come first. First, it's your heart. And then it's your hand. First, it's your heart. And then it's your hand. Something happens inside in order for something to happen outside. Something happens internally for something to happen externally. First it's your heart and then it's your hand. Look, look, look at this scripture. God, we know, whatever he does is for his glory and it's for our good. For his glory and for our good. God starts with him for his glory and for our good. God says, I will. Five times God says, I will. He says, I will do this, I will do that. But that is different from what the old covenant taught. The old covenant was about thou shalt not. It was about the Ten Commandments and all the other rules in Exodus chapter 26. It was about the, the thou shalt not, and so remember not to do that, and remember to do this. It was about rules, right? But here, God is saying, I will. I, God, starting with him, he is saying, I, I will. Five times he says, I will, as opposed to the three times that he talked about what he had done. He said, I had made with your fathers a covenant. I had took them by the hand. I had, I was a husband to them. He was talking previously about what he had done. Three times he, he pointed to what he had done. Five times he pointed to what he was going to do. Touch your name and say, Never, you missed your opportunity to shout right there. Yeah, right, 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 right there. I believe deserved a shout right there. Right, because God is saying, this is what I did do three times, but this is what I'm going to do five times. Almost double what he had done. Is he going? Touch on the man said, didn't I tell you you missed your chance? <laughs> didn't, I, didn't I took and told you that you missed your chance to shout? See, I believe an amen goes right there. When God said, that's what I had done, but now this is what I'm going to do. Somebody say he's going to do more than what he I wish I had five or six or seven, eight or eight or nine people in here that said, this is what I want. I want some more. And God says, I've done this, and now I'm going to do this. Do you mean, God, that you've given me mercy, but you're going to give me more? You've given me grace, but you're going to give me more? You've given me love, but you're going to give me more? Somebody say, yeah, pastor. That's what he's talking about. Somebody say, more, more, more. What you got in your hand but in my hand one plus one is two but in God's hand see God has a way of multiplying what's in your 
what's in your hand when you turn it over and place it in his hand? See, in our hand, four times four is 12. Old jokes. It's the old jokes. Old jokes. In our hand, a little is a little. In our hand, not much is not much. But when you turn it over and place it in God's, and something happens. When God writes on your heart and your hand becomes an extension of your heart. Remember when Moses was on the backside of the mountain tending the sheep of his, of his father-in-law and there was a burning bush and Moses was tripping out because the bush was burning but it was not consumed and he walked a little closer and the Lord began to speak out of the bush. And the Lord said, what is that in thine hand? And Moses said, a staff. And God said, throw it down. He threw it down and it became... A serpent. God will change that thing that you have in your hand when you obey him. One plus one is nine in God's hand. One times seven is 442 in God's hand. Light bills add up. Food bills add up in God's hand. When we, when we consider our hand first, we'll say, no, this don't add up. And we walk away. But when God puts it on our hearts, when God places it on our hearts, and our hands become the extension of our hearts, we'll turn it over to God. Touch it up and say, neighbor, I just turn it over. I just, I, 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 there's been some things in my life I knew I couldn't, I couldn't fix. And when I, when I was trying to uh, figure it out, God had already worked it out, but I hadn't turned it over to him yet, so I was worrying about it. But when I gave it over to the Lord, when I, when I turned it over to him, when I threw up my hands and said, God, here it is, and here I am just as I I am. When I turned it over to God, when I turned my sorrow over, when I turned my bitterness over, when I turned my anger over, when I turned my challenges over, when I turned my frustration over, when I turned my disappointment over, when I turned my poverty over, when I turned my past over, when I turned, touch the never said, you better turn it over. You. Your hands are too small, but when you turn it over to God, when you turn it over to Him, when you turn it over to the Almighty One, when you turn it over to the strong tower, when you turn it over to the refuge, when you turn it over to the harbor, turn it over! You gotta turn. You gotta turn. 